Hi, good day. All of the personal readings have been completed. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box. So I'm just going to do quick. I'm going to try to be quick because um, I'm well aware people don't have a bunch of time to sit here and <laughs> listen to long readings. Oop. All right. So what is messages for divine masculine what does divine masculine need to work on at this time for healing what does divine masculine need to work on at this time maturity sometimes i feel like i don't want to grow up it is a choice to step into your divine power and mission or continue on an old stale patterns of behavior that keep you stuck going around and around in repetitive karmic cycles maturity isn't necessarily scary even childhood comes with consequences everyone does or everything does. Taking responsibility for your actions or even your non-actions can be wonderfully freeing. Try it. Stability, courage, and strength. At times I get immobilized by fear of making the wrong decision, so I stick with what I know instead of following my heart or my intuition. The healing aspect to this card is we all want safety and stability in our material world. It takes courage to embark upon a new path. Sometimes on your journey, you encounter obstacles or your life takes a totally different turn from whatever you were anticipating or wherever you were trying to go. Nothing is insurmountable, nothing, and everything is for a reason. Strength and courage are available now from the ancestors, the ancient ones. Gather strength, move forth with faith, trust, and courage, and you will get to the position of stability you seek without getting in your own way and making things harder than they need to be. And that is, you know, your ancestors are coming forth here and telling you, Ancient ones, ancestors, spirit, the divine, your guides, your angels, everything. They're all there. They're all here. They never leave you. When you think you're alone, you are never alone. Um, and I cried not that long ago. And I was sitting in my room and I was crying and just purging my emotions. Because you guys know I believe in you got to feel it to heal it. I know I sound like a cornball, but I don't care. <laughs> you guys also know I don't care <clears throat> about what people think. So I was crying and I felt like I received a message saying that my grandmother was near me and my dad. Okay. I kid you not. I get on YouTube. <laughs> don't mind my cat. He's mad because I shut the door. Um, I got on YouTube and I literally saw a reading just pop up that said, your grandmother was there when you cried. And I was like, wow. And then I cried again. <laughs> and it was like, yeah, I knew. I got that message, right? So you're never alone, okay? And some of you get messages. Some of you already know that, but I just want to tell you that. Okay, so what are the what is divine feminine need to work on healing? What is divine feminine need to work on healing? Overgiving. Wow. Yeah, I'm guilty. My belief system is that when I give or overgive, it means that I love you. I don't understand why you don't return this sentiment. The healing aspect to this card, this behavior gets you nowhere. It is a dead end. It's a distorted belief system at the very core. Overgiving stems from some kind of desperation or fear of learned or fear <clears throat> or learned system of behavior. Desperation and or fear is not magnetically attractive in a healthy way. It attracts more of the same distortion. A healthy relationship is defined by balance of flow between the energies. Strive for this balance in all your interactions. Yeah, so stop overgiving. I think I have a bad problem with that because I know what it's like to not have people around, right? And and I know a lot of people probably are like that, right? I know what it's like to not have money. I know what it's like, like from a childhood perspective, right? And I know what it's like to not have love. I know what it's like to be neglected. I know what it's like to be left alone. Um, I was literally neglected from birth until 13 years old. When I lived with my, that's when I moved in with my grandmother, who was very loving and kind, and um, she was a very strong woman, but she was very loving and kind and nurturing, um, like a divine feminine, um, and I didn't have that for 13 years of my life, so 
this was something that because I'm an empath, this was something that I did as an adult because it wasn't even necessarily to get people to like me or anything like that. It was, I know how you feel. Like if I saw someone in need, right? It was like, I don't like seeing people in need because I know what that feels like. So that's why I be, I became an overgiver. And I feel like a lot of people can resonate with that. Responsibility and accountability. My masculine blames me and that hurts. The healing. Wounded codependent people steeped in the illusion of ego will attempt to blame you and make you responsible for their choices. Mm -hmm. Take full responsibility and be accountable for your choices, for your own choices, period. Refuse to get sucked into the blame game and be sure not to play it yourself. Right. So basically spirits like allow your masculine to blame you. Who cares? Like it may hurt, but that's they're wounded coming from ego. They can blame you all they want to, but you know the truth, right? You know the truth. All right. So let's see what you need to focus on. What does divine feminine need to focus on at this time? Trust in divine timing, okay? Trust in divine timing. Renewal, because there is a renewal spark coming your way, or perhaps it's already here with your masculine. Shocker. <laughs> You're going towards freedom and new opportunities with your masculine. So focus on this, okay? That's good. That's a good thing. All right. Uh, what does divine masculine need to focus on at this time? What does divine masculine? Self-care. Take care of yourself. Do something for yourself. Um, this may be for some. I just, I just booked an appointment with my son's barber, my oldest son's barber. Um, and yeah, you need to focus on your self-care. Maybe that's a message for some of you. Maybe some of you need to go to a barber. Um, maybe that's something you enjoy doing and you haven't done, right? But everybody needs to be pampered. It, it's very loving, even if it's, you know, something small like that, right? Or like going and buying yourself a shirt or something. you got to do something that makes you feel loved, right? I always tell people, some people are like, well, I don't really know. Well, this is how you can know what to do for yourself. What is it that a woman or a, a man, right, depending on your orientation, what can someone do for you who you're dating or who you're in a romantic connection with that you like for them to do? You need to do it for yourself, right? So I like to go to eat, out to eat, right? <laughs> Even though I'm on a diet, I always find, you know, not diet, but Weight Watchers. I always find um, there's always Weight Watchers friendly things on the menu. So I like to be taken out to eat. So um, I take myself out to eat at least once a week, at least once a week. And I will go in there and sit down and not give two shits about anything. And I notice some people, some people do that and other people are like, well, I don't like the way people look at me and they look at me like I'm a loser. Who cares? Who cares? Why do you care? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> because that's going to be a surefire way to also meet your soul tribe, right? Um, you going to places alone and you meet a group of people or you talk to people, that's your soul tribe. Potentially. I mean, there are some dark forces out there, too, that'll try to deter you off your path, especially being a twin. But you have to use discernment. You know what low vibe energy is and you know what high vibe energy is. If someone's if someone's because we do attract damaged people. So if someone's really giving you low vibe energy, then you're like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. yeah, just say no. <laughs> All right. What else for divine masculine? What else does divine masculine need to focus on? Ah, your fears. So your fears are still limiting you mm -mm. in this connection. 
What's the fears that are limiting Divine Masculine in this connection? You're not listening to your higher self. You're in your ego. And you're probably blaming Divine Feminine. Told you. You're, you're living from your shadow. I don't know why you're doing this. Obviously, you're not doing your shadow work, whoever this is. Not doing your shadow work. Or you're ignoring. And I'm not going to sit up here and act like I'm perfect because, let me tell you, I've been getting downloads, messages um, for the past two weeks about doing shadow work, and I haven't. So don't think I'm judging you. I'm just putting my shit out there, <laughs> too. Like, I haven't wanted to do it. I'm like, I need a break. And every day, Spirit's like, do your shadow work. And I'm like, okay, I will. And they're like, now. And I'm like, I will. I'm just not in the mood. Literally, I have these conversations, okay? Yeah, they're in my head. They're thoughts. But literally bicking, bickering with Spirit back and forth about me not doing my shadow work. You know what happens when you ignore your shadow work and you don't do it? One guess. Well, yeah, you'll get messages. <laughs> But you'll get a tower. Mm -hmm. I'm hard-headed as hell. My, my north node is Taurus. so. But I'm going to do some shadow work today, actually. I promise. <laughs> so this is for masculines not doing your shadow work either. You're not. You could be communicating a lot with people or traveling. Mm -mm. Take your journal. Take your book. Whatever. This is part of your north node. So that could be you're traveling and whatever you're doing, communicating could be part of your purpose. <clears throat> but you can't neglect your shadow work. Like you can't be like, OK, I'm on my purpose and I don't know. I'm not doing my shadow work like this is my purpose. Right. This tarot channel is my purpose. My Etsy shop is my purpose. But I still have work to do. I still have healing to do. <clears throat> I can't neglect my shadow work just because I'm in my purpose. No, no. Yeah, see? Because that's part of your purpose and you're resisting it, right? You just want to focus on the positive and not sit in the dark. You got to go back into the dark, back into the dark and determine, okay, what is still here that I need to look at and face in this closet of darkness? What is it? What's sitting in here rotting? Something that is preventing you from being open to receiving a reunion from your person and a love offer. What is it? What is it? Besides the fear tower. Forgiveness. So you could be needing to forgive someone at this time or apologize. Because that's the block to union. This is a storm. Your spirit guides are trying to help you. You're trying to control something. What are they trying to control? What is Divine Masculine trying to control? A water sign. Who you're married to. For some of you, you could be at a distance from this person. This is all about your self-worth and your expectations. You're still not seeing your worth. Why aren't they seeing their worth? Why isn't this divine masculine seeing their worth? Because you're suffering from the past. There could be things that you've done in the past that you regret. Right. So that forgiveness, right? It's like, I messed everything up. My God. This is toxic. This is toxic. No. You know the truth. You've expressed your truth. You're getting messages in your dreams about change. And you're just not doing it. So you could be a prophetic dreamer. You're getting messages. You're like, oh. Your message, your dreams are telling you to change, but you're like, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm abundant. That's a mask. This is, this is, 
<clears throat> this is the lie you tell yourself. It's you need to take action for towards a new beginning to create balance in your life. And you need to trust in the divine. And love yourself. Love yourself. I don't think you love yourself. You're not practicing self-love or they wouldn't have to tell you. Right. You don't love yourself because you're guarded and you doubt a lot of things about you could be avoidant attached. Right. And this is <clears throat> right. I told you. Look at that. So <clears throat> if you've never taken a relationship style um, attachment style relationship quiz, they're free on the Internet. I would recommend taking them. This is to a masculine who is, has avoidant attachment. <sighs> That's a this is a karmic cycle that you need to close this avoidant attachment style, because this is where you feel comfortable. When you get triggered, you detach, you avoid. Mm -hmm. You need to recognize this so that you can form a solid foundation because you just avoid your problems. So that's, that's the message I received. Like you're avoidant attached. A lot of men are who are not um, in touch with their emotions um, who like to, you don't like to be emotional. Those are avoidant attachment style men and some women. Yep. Um, and unfortunately when you have avoidant attachment style, you attract feminines or partners who have ang anxious attached, right? I see, you could probably see where I'm going with this. So people who have avoidant attachment will push people away like this and avoid them while the anxious attached will be clingy and please don't leave me. Mm -hmm. It's that yin yang, right? That's what needs to be healed. <clears throat> 